Hi, Claude Pollan here, Affiliate Starting Line, and welcome. This is part five uh, of explaining the cPanel. We started the series on how to register domains, how to point the uh, domain towards your web host, how to come into your web host and uh, figure out what the cPanel is. Now we're going through different panels of the cPanel. We did email uh, last time. We're going to do the domains panel this time. So what am I talking about? What I'm talking about is right here. This is a cPanel. And uh, if you come down here to the domains panel, you're going to be working in this domains panel quite a bit. That's because you're going to be creating uh, domains, subdomains, add-on domains. You're going to park domains. You're going to redirect them. And you won't have to worry about domain systems, zone editors, and uh, advanced zone editors until you are an accomplished programmer. Subdomains. When you create a website, you're going to put it on your host. It's going to appear as what is called a subdomain. Why? Because when you create your, your hosting account, you're going to create it in the name of a domain. A main domain is what they call it. And your main domain will be appearing under your stats under the tab main domain. This is a sample example for training. But that will be the primary domain name for your web host. When you create a website, it'll appear as a subdomain. What's a subdomain? A subdomain is a URL that will define a certain section of your website. Uh, the main domain will be the name of your hosting account, and your new subdomain will appear as a prefix. That is, it will appear before the name of your main domain. So if your main domain is called mydomain.com and you go out and buy a new domain called newdomain.com, it will appear in your web host as www.newdomain.mydomain.com. So it is a subdomain, it appears as a prefix ahead of your main domain name. Now the only problem with that is that that's awfully long and it's awfully uh, tedious. And very often you don't want in your address bar to have that long a name. You'd rather have in your address bar the name of your new domain appearing as a standalone. How do you do that? Well, you come back to your domains panel and you click here on add on domain and you create an add on domain. An add on domain allows you to reach a subdomain when entering the name of that add on domain into your browser. That's exactly what you want. This means that you can host additional domains from your account if you're allowed by the provider. Most of your hosting accounts now, especially like one at HostGator, will allow you unlimited domains. So you can add as many domains as you want. Add-on domains, subdomains are relative to your account's directory. The icon, this home icon, signifies your home directory, which is, in this case, home forward slash, and then your main domain. So just, just all you got to really know is you, what you're going to do is you're going to take the name of the main domain you, written, you re newly registered, you're going to type it in here, it'll appear underneath here by, uh, by default, and that means that you're creating a file transfer account in that name as well. It'll give you the root uh, directory, and then you will create a password, you'll type in your password, you'll click add on domain, and your domain will be added. So let's take, uh, see if it takes this one. Cupcake. It'll create the thing, you'll create a password, etc., etc. Let's get rid of that. And then you just click add on domain. Uh, and it will tell you, and it'll add on your domain. So that's how you click and create an add-on domain. And that's what an add-on domain is. Park domains. If you have a domain that you're not using, you can put it in here, click add, and it will park it into your um, directory. And you can use uh, park domains to point or park additional domain names to your existing hosting account. It simply means that that domain will redirect your main account number, or your account on the cPanel. That's what park domains is. So it's, it's there to, for people who, uh, some people own a lot of domains they're not using. Um, and that's where they put their domains. Redirects. Redirects allow you to make a specific web page. In other words, the new domain you're creating 
uh, point to another page and, and to place the contents of that page. What's the purpose of that? A lot of things. Uh, you can very often as an affiliate marketer, you'll go in and uh, create an ad campaign and you have to put into your ad a display URL. Well, you can go register a new domain name that you're going to use a display URL for that particular campaign. Let's say you're going to be selling cupcakes. So you go get cupcakes.com and then you create a sub, an add-on domain called www.cupcakes.com and you can put it in here as a redirect. So what does that mean? You'll come in here and type in your new subdomain that you've created and then you'll have it redirect to a landing page for a merchant that you might be selling a product for. So when type, people type in www.cupcake.com, it's going to go over to the Cupcake Superstore for which you are an affiliate. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, because it's an easy way of controlling and testing different types of merchants. So your display URL at AdWords or any of your accounts can stay the same. And then you come back into your back office here and change the redirect to a different merchant. If the first merchant doesn't work out, you just find another one and put it in here. And that means you're not going into your AdWords account and constantly changing things. It also applies to display ads with Facebook. And display, it, it applies to any number of ways you can use a redirect. Now, there are two types of redirects, permanent and temporary. That's up to you to decide which one you want to pick. I always pick temporary. But it's a great way to create a uh, get a domain name and then use it as a way to redirect people to wherever you want to send them for whatever reason you want to send them there. So that's what a redirect is. The rest of these two symbols here, simple domain name system zone editor and uh, the advanced zone editor, I wouldn't worry about uh, until you become uh, you know, a really decent programmer and you have a reason to go in and mess around with how uh, IP addresses are tr changed from their uh, written form into an IP address. That's what the domain name a zone editor really does. So I wouldn't worry about these two. So subdomains. That's what you create um, when you register a site. It's a prefix to your main domain. Add-on domains is what you want to uh, go in and, and create so that your URL will appear as, as a standalone in the address bar. Park domains is where you park domains when you're not using them, and they'll redirect to your, to your main domain. And redirects is when you take the URL you've created, the domain you own, and redirect that traffic to another site. That's it. So that's how the domains panel works. This is Claude Ballon and Affiliate Starting Line. I hope it's been helpful and useful. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.